Hello. My voice broke. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, bloody hell. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, thank you, first off, and so much for Anna. Thank you so much for Anna. Yes, in fact, do. I do thank the world for Anna because she is just, like, the loveliest person in the world. Shout out for Anna, please. Um, uh, thank you for the resub. Nine months. We are now having a baby. It is official. Watered, thank you so much for the 100 bits. And Kiki, thank you so much for the 10 months. How is everybody? Hey, Mark. It's nice to see you back again. And first off, I just want to say I am sorry about Sunday. <laughs> It, it was very sudden, and even as I was like, I'm going to stream now, a part of my brain was like, this is a bad idea. And I didn't realise why until afterwards when yeah, I got um, a couple of people messaging me saying, hey, I'm sorry I missed the stream, I got, I got confused, I thought it was on Thursday. And that's because it was, that's because it was and is on Thursday. I am just a doofus. I'm just a big old doofus. And, uh, yeah, because, uh, well, first off, I thought it was on Tuesday. It's not. And I was busy on Tuesday, so I couldn't stream that. So I was like, oh, Thursday. And then on Sunday, I was just like, in the stream manager for some reason. And I told this story on Sunday. But Sunday did not happen. Sunday does not exist. But I was in stream manager on Sunday, which does not exist. And then in my chat, it was just like, hey, celebrate your Twitch anniversary, which is today. And I was like, what? <laughs> so here we are. On Thursday, the official day. The unofficial official day. The official, unofficial official? Unofficial f official? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I moved my mic over here because I realised, on the day that does not exist, that every time I was like trying to talk into my mic, I was leaning away from the camera and away from chat, and it just looks stupid. It is. It does make actually reaching things a bit harder, though. Because the freaking arm is in the way now. But... I hope everybody is well. It's actually really, really warm today. The fish on unofficial day, exactly. With extra fish, with added fish, beware fish allergy sufferers. It's really warm today. Like, so warm. That at first I sat outside without any sunscreen on. And then I sat outside with sunscreen on and still got overheated, shockingly enough. So I had a, like a, honestly, probably about a five minute lie down and an entire bottle of water. I'm feeling better now. <laughs> it's hot. And uh, this was, uh, this was like just a couple of days after I was like, ah, it's August, the apparently official <laughs> uh, first month of fall or autumn, as some people know it. I'm going to put my fans away. Because honestly, the weather has been shit. It has been cold. I've been wearing like full pajamas when I go to bed and closing my window at night. And when I was on my way to, uh, to the thing, the chemist on Monday to get my prescription, what did I see but a leaf just spiraling to the earth? It's, it started. Autumn fall has begun. But it's also August, which is, goes down in history as one of the best months of summer. <laughs> and I was just like, nah, not here. And then this happened. It's actually starting to cloud over now, but it's it's really warm. Fall is my favorite. Fall is a lot of people's favorites, and I do see why, because today I was, you know, I was so ready for like cozy sweaters, and then today it's like, haha, fooled you, it's still summer. Here it's been cold and rainy. Don't worry, you're not missing anything except heat stroke, and nobody wants that. I was, there was actually a poll I saw the other day that was like, what would you prefer, being too hot in summer or too cold in winter? I picked being too hot in summer, and I don't know why, because I hate being hot in summer. <laughs> too cold in winter any day. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm actually looking, I'm actually quite looking forward to winter, although I will warn you all now, I stream more in winter because there's less... I have less energy because it's less daylight, so it's just easier to just sit here and play video games with you guys. But, as a consequence of that, I will just be complaining about winter the entire time and being, oh, I can't wait for summer. And then when summer comes, I will get floored by the heat and be like, I need it to be winter. Ugh. An amazing heat of 11 degrees C. Here, last time I checked, it's 23 
degrees, which for our American friends is warm. It's it's very hot, considering zero degrees for us is thirty degrees for you. So it's warm. It's warm. Warm. That's a technical term. Oh jeez, everything hurts. <laughs> everything hurts because I had my yoga today, my yoga session at the support group I was telling you guys about, the support network or whatever the heck it is. The lady was really, really nice and took me through real, real slow. And man, were there some things that I used to be able to do that I can't do anymore. But seeing her again in two weeks every two weeks is gonna be how we do it because my chronic fatigue is being an absolute bitch as it always is and always will be but i am now quite sore <laughs> which i should have predicted in fact did predict but have never really known what to do about i just sort of think oh yeah, well and leave it at that 26 degrees where you are dang i hope you got a nice fan and a cold drink and maybe an ice cream ice creams are nice i considered getting an ice cream today but i can't be asked i mean it's so difficult finding ones that are vegan and then they're super expensive so pff, fuck it oh fuck it uh dear I'm just trying to think my brain's been because it's been Almost technically two weeks since we properly streamed. Sunday doesn't exist. Um, so I've kind of forgotten how to do anything. And my, my face is feeling real bad. I need to wash it. Because, well, right now it's just caked in sunscreen. And I've started to hate the smell of sunscreen. <laughs> it just makes me think, you're going to overheat. <laughs> I had an ice lolly earlier on. Good, good. Oh, sorry, it only came up today because on the day that did not exist, my activity feed was broken. So it only came up today. But thank you, Watted, for buying our premium content baseball bat. Baseball cap. We don't have, we don't sell bats. Um, baseball caps. I know how to speak. We don't sell baseball bats, but we do sell baseball caps. One of which is actually back uh, there, the, the pink thing up here. I can't point... I can't, I can't point there. It's, it's there. It's back there. I did it after nothing happened. Good. Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing at all. Um, I can't actually move my notes because they're too far away now. <laughs> to put them in the bottom corner of the other screen. So that's like about as far away as I have to look to, 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 so I did make notes and they're stupid. So nothing would have shown anyway, indeed, because then nothing happened. Um, so a few things have been happening. Last week, I do not remember a single thing that happened. Except I painted my wall, which is why there's a faint red glow on this side of the room. <laughs> because I've only painted the other um, wall. Let's just leave it at that. It's a wall. It's red now. It's fine. Um... Yeah, I genuinely don't actually remember last week at all, except I know I didn't stream, and, uh... Oh, that was when I was in pain! No wonder I blocked it out. <laughs> to be honest, the pain hasn't really stopped. If anything, it's got worse, and my foot is an absolute shit show. Uh, but I made doctor's appointment on Tuesday, and I went to that, and that was good. And also, by the way, I have not heard from my housing officer yet, even though she came back to office two days ago. So I'm taking that as a good thing, and, um, it's not high priority what my my, my 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 thing um but yeah so the doctor on tuesday and he thinks my the arch in my foot is collapsing he did give it a fancy ass name but i can't remember what it was i think it might have had the word plantera in it but that's also a boss in terraria so i cannot be certain of that but i got um soles with arch support to stick in my shoes which i'm not currently wearing because it's currently too hot to wear shoes New, no news does sound like good news. Yes. If it was urgent, they would have got in touch straight away. Which is good. So I'm just leaving it. And she'll probably just be like, oh yeah, that's fine. She, maybe she'll ask me to walk her through my setup and that I can do. And that's fine. Um, oh, jeez. Fuck's sake. Okay, now I'm in pain because I'm in pain generally anyway. But also because my muscles are like, what did you do? Um, it's called yoga, you uneducated strips of flesh. Um, oh, jeez. But um, I described my symptoms to the doctor. 
I also have stupid things because it was my neighbour who suggested it when I told her that I was in pain and it might be fibromyalgia. And I was like, I don't want it to be fibromyalgia because I really don't. I have friends. I only wear shoes indoors because the, the carpets get really mucky with my cat's fur and I don't want that on the bottom of my feet. I don't like hair on the bottom of my feet, so I wear shoes indoors. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't. But yeah. I don't know if it's a strictly British thing. I can't remember what I was talking about already. Um, yeah, I don't want fi to survive fibromyalgia. I have friends who have that. And they, they are not... They are, they, they are well-adjusted people who have learned to manage it, but it's still not a happy thing to have to live with. So I don't really want to, but I described my pain to my doctor. I mentioned that I had chronic fatigue, and it could just be because I don't get enough exercise because I don't. And he was like, e yeah, it's probably fibromyalgia. So he took blood, and the results will be back in a couple of weeks. I was told that I could call today to make a follow-up appointment, but they're like, no, 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 we only get the schedules by week, so you'll have to call again next Thursday to make an appointment for the week after next. So I'll do that next Thursday. But yeah, it's, the blood test is just to rule out anything else it could be. But I, I don't know. I, I'd rather it was nothing. I'd rather it was just, you're an unfit, lazy person, or an unfit, tired person. Or oh, you're just an unfit person. Get on the treadmill lady i'd rather that but if it is anything at least knowing can like help i am in pain i need to sit up my shoulders hurt everything hurts that's because i did yoga earlier But yeah, I'm guessing it's just because of the stress of everything that's been happening that I'm explaining why I left this as a note to myself to talk about. It's so stupid. I must have just been plant Yeah. I wasn't I, I wasn't insane. He did kind of say something that sounded like plant, plant, Plantera. What is that? I'm Googling this. Google. I have to copy it first because I don't spell things if I don't have to spell things. Although I left it with the question mark. Uh, yeah, sure. Fun. Um, plant off, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's pain on the bottom of your foot, round the heel and arch. Yep. Usually ease the pain yourself, but see a GP if it does not improve in two weeks. It did not. I kind of knew the term, but did have to double check. Yeah, I thought it was just like collapsed arch, but I looked that up and it's not the same thing. Um, yeah, the pain is much, most, much worse when you start walking after sleeping or resting. True. Pain feels better during exercise but returns after resting. Also true. It's difficult to raise your toes off the floor. Yeah, he asked me to do that in the off, in, in the in the room and... Man, did that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Uh, raise and rest your foot on the stool when you can. Put an ice pack uh, every 20 minutes, every two hours. Or shoes with cushioned heels. Doing that. Insoles. Regular swimming. Oh, I can take painkillers too. Try to lose weight if you're overweight. Uh huh. Yeah. Do not wear high heels. I totally did that. For some reason, I thought it would be good to wear high heels on the long walk up to my uh, housing office. <laughs> that one time. Which honestly didn't actually make my foot hurt. And then the next time I went up, I wore sensible shoes, and then I was in pain the rest of the day and most of the weekend, and it never really stopped. Yeah, I know I'm getting bruises everywhere. I've got a bruise on the side of my knees. I whacked that on something. And I'm going to get a bruise, like, right on my hip. Because... Why did I? Why did that happen? Oh, it's because I got a sun catcher. Which is, like, a fancy thing you hang in the window. And it's, like, got crystals and it reflects light. And I needed a chair to stand on to get it up there. And then when I was taking the chair back into there, it decided to just, uh... Basically, battering ram into the door. Stream elements, what the fuck are you doing? Vigsley, I am so sorry. I don't know what you said. But I'm guessing it wasn't a bad thing? Somebody double check that. Vigsley's like a cool dude. I don't think he'd say anything that's actually worth getting. But yeah, uh bashed the chair into the door frame and then it just hit me in the hip. The thing is, you kind of need stream elements as a moderator, but it shouldn't be allowed to do that. Well, this episode's happy life. What the... 
Sorry, Vixie, but thank you. It's good to have you, even if Stream Elements is a piece of shit. And also, thank you, Watered, for removing Vixie from timeout. Maybe because all caps? Ooh, maybe. Yeah, Stream Elements is weird. And not fun, clearly. Yeah. They are allergic to fun. I wonder if I can change that as a setting for the caps thing. Probably. No excitement allowed. Just use loads of exclamation marks. I'll, I'll just hear the, the all caps. It's a good way of doing it. I have managed to go on so many tangents. I'm so good at this. No happy life miss for you. Well, see, what is allowed to do it? That, uh, hmm. Maybe Stream Elements is playing favorites. But yeah, I was just... What you sipping there? <laughs> I, I grabbed a couple of cans of that. I actually went out just to get a couple of cans of that. Mods can't time out other mods. I'm allowed to drink on my uh, uh, unofficial official Twitch uh, two-year anniversary, whatever the hell this thing is. I have absolutely no idea what we're going to do today. Really, I'm just going to talk for a bit and then something's going to happen, maybe. <laughs> Pink drink, yeah. Oh, ouch. Pain. I'm just going. Uh, those are the best tasting and the most dangerous. Ooh, dangerous. I don't like dangerous things. I like safe things. You know what's really annoying about this is that this can cost me one ninety nine. In the same shop, sometimes they will have a full bottle, like, like. What? Well, yeah, thank you so much for gifting Mark a sub. They'll have like a full bottle of strawberry daiquiri for uh, two ninety nine. They didn't have any of those in stock. 124 gift subs. Well, thank you, my dude. Now, I hope you enjoy our emotes. They're not great, but they are ours, and soon I'll be redrawing them all, or most of them anyway, in our art stream if you would like to contribute some points to that thing. Hell yeah. Also, thank you, Vixie, for making that that jam gif. That rave gif, or whatever the heck it is. Thank you, Vixie, for also contributing to the art stream. I still haven't done the thing where I extend it, but maybe we don't need to. 98! 98k! We're literally like 98%. Thank you, Mark, for contributing as well. Yeah, we're gonna do, like, there's a whole lot of stuff of art that I need to do, and honestly, re redrawing all of my emotes is not high on the list. It's not high on the list, and I'm going off topic so much. But this is just, uh, this is just how it be. But yeah, I was actually gonna stream with my sister on Sunday, but then I realised two things. Or maybe multiple things, than more than two. Um, yeah, what well, did it earlier? <laughs> oh my goodness, to be honest, he remembers about that more than I do. There's a topic sometimes. No, I haven't gone on... I got that thing installed for desktop notes that Vigley told me about and there's stuff on it and I haven't touched a single thing on it yet. I haven't talked about a single thing. I've been doing a build-up and then I keep getting distracted. <laughs> I was going to say something just now, but now I'm distracted because we were talking about topics. What the fuck was I saying? <laughs> Do them now. Okay, I've been so stressed lately that I cried because I gave my cat one of my old toys to play with. And it actually hurt so much to see him just sort of like shredding it and trying to rip its throat out that I cried. That I cried and took it away from him, saying, don't do that. <laughs> That is a thing that happened and that I thought was noteworthy to write it on my desktop to remind me. <laughs> I, uh, he's back here. No, he's up there. Hold on, you can't see him. Not my cat. My... So stupid. Thank you for the hugs, I don't deserve them. This is the little guy. His name is Cedric. My sister gave him to me. Right before I got a that huge full body rash that I've talked about, and I had to go get an endoscopy, and then I was just like super depressed for about four years. And this guy was there with me throughout the whole thing. He was my little comfort boy, and uh, he was my little man before Toby was my little man. So 
Oh, it reminds me of a fusion of city and sweet. I love city and sweet. Yeah, he's a baby surrogate. My, my, my sister brought him home and was like, I got you something. And I was actually honestly a little disappointed at first because I thought it would be like a little teddy. And then I mean like an actual bear. But this guy, look at, look at his, look at him. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Let's not get into that because I did use give him a voice. For the longest time, he did not have a voice. And then he wouldn't shut up because I was a very crazy, like, 25-year-old who would give my toys voices. <laughs> Which is honestly something my sister did a lot <laughs> until she got cats. And then she got kids. So, yeah, we're, we're both uh, pretty crazy like that. We're pretty childish as well, so I've actually realized something that I do, which is also on my list and is actually the next thing on my list. Um... Whenever my mum comes around, even while she's just, like, unpacking and getting, like... Because she wears waterproofs everywhere and carries about quintillion bags. Even while she's, like, in my hall, like, putting all that stuff down and taking all the waterproofs off. I am just assaulting her with words, telling her everything that I've been doing, all the bad news first. And then the good news, not limited to, oh, I did my nails. <laughs> I will stand there and just assault her with this information like I'm an eight-year-old whose mom just got home from work and she couldn't wait to just tell her everything about her day. I do this to my mom every single time she comes around to my place. Every single time. Jeez. I'm not even sure how much of it she takes in. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that was the second thing on my list. <laughs> At least she sees your fancy nails, though. True. Uh, I did it in different colours. Ah. Uh, maybe the next thing on my list is Midsummer Murders is dead to me. It really is. Because honestly, I've been kind of getting bored of it and then I finally figured out why in John Barnaby's first proper episode um I've been watching Midsummer Murders for like the last basically since May I've been working through it since I got a TV license and I got the ITV, ITV X player so I've been working through it and honestly first seasons like the first like 10 seasons are brilliant and then I started noticing that they were kind of fucking up. Poirot was fantastic. I've seen all of Poirot. I've seen all of A Touch of Frost. I've seen all of Lewis. I haven't seen all of Morse yet. I need to do that. Uh, Myths and My Murders was something I grew up on. And honestly, when I was like... Six, seven to like... Thirteen. Like, I grew up with it. And I had a crush on Troy, the first sergeant. I had a crush on D.S. Scott, the second sergeant. And I had a huge crush that honestly lasted... Until this day, on DS Jones, because I love him, he's fantastic, and it's actually because of him that I, I hate, I, I, I'm, I'm so mad, because they fucked it up. Oh no, they weren't wearing uniforms, they were wearing suits. But uh, pr honestly, rewatching it, Troy was a prat, an absolute doofus, he was a moron, <laughs> really bad jokes. Scott was a flirt, but an all around decent dude. Who, whose actor got written out of the series when he asked for a pay rise. <laughs> and Jones was just all around fantastic guy. Loved him. But he's also the longest lasting sergeant. And uh, they fucked up his writing. They fucked it up. First it was like they were just changing his character every episode. So he seemed like a different person every episode. And then they did the worst thing they can possibly do. To one of my favourite fictional characters... They turned him into an idiot just to make the other characters seem smart. They turned him into a moron who made stupid decisions. They made him a bad cop. And for that, I can never forgive them. It's bad enough that they, it was done to my favorite character. You shouldn't do that with any character. If you need to dumb somebody else down to raise someone else up, you don't deserve to be writing for television. Fucking morons. So yeah, Mr. My Murders is dead to me. Didn't even finish watching that episode. I'm done. 
But I, now that you mention it, Wiggly, I, I've always actually kind of had a thing for people, people in uniforms. Not just men. Uniforms, man. I like them. Hey, Candle, how you doing? Oh, uniforms. Oh, there goes my coaster. It's fine. It just lives down there now. But yeah, we're doing a proper um, celebration today. Sunday didn't happen. Uh, where we just chill out, have a drink, and eventually play a game. It's just lazy to do that as a rewrite. It's so sad. Because in... If you count armor as the... Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, in Tom Barnaby's... In John Nestle's last episode of Midsummer Murders... It was very clear they were trying to do like a test run to see if Jones was competent enough to be a DI. And while he had always had this thing where he would just jump to conclusions a little bit, you'd think after like seven seasons, both he and the people writing him would have worked out that you can actually develop from that. You can actually learn and be better. But no. So that was a bit annoying. And then they just brought in another Barnaby. Which is also lazy. And then they spent... I only watched like half of John Barnaby's first episode. And they spent the entire thing of just like Jones trying to like take the new guy like around and just show him like the ropes and the people. And he was just an absolute bell end, Making stupid decisions. And while John Barnaby was like, oh actually I think you'll find blah 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 blah. Um, great news, the past cats have... Oh, Kokizari Zoo had a baby. Oh, lovely. That is lovely news. Sorry, Medsimon Murders made me mad. But that is great news. I'm actually going to look this up because I'm going to get used to my microphone being here. Oh, they're so cute. They're like little teddy bears. They're like little teddy bears. How can I do this? Yeah, there we go. Look at the little teddy bear cats. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Where'd it go? Oh my goodness, look at the guy. I need him in my life. <laughs> and they had a baby, that's so cute. Look at the blab, he's doing the blab! He's doing the blab! The blabby one. That's so cute. I did have Ro 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 but stuck in my head for a bit. I didn't finish watching that either. I tried. After I was realised I was done with Midsummer Murders, I was like, I gotta find something else to watch. So I was like, I'll check the ITV movies list. And there were a bunch of Star Trek ones on there. And I have... Sure, go for it, Candle. And uh, I have seen The Final Frontier, but it was a good 20 years ago. And I don't remember much about it. It's probably actually longer than 20 years. But I do know that everybody hates it. <gasps> Cute babies. Cute little ba- Oh my goodness, look at this guy! Look at the little one! He's so little! <laughs> And look at their little ones. Oh, look at his little tail curling under. Oh my god. That's... Such a sad face. I think he's just scared. You see, he's just come into the world. He's just come into the world. He's just, he's, he doesn't know when the thing is. Look at you, little blib. Little blib. Oh, sweet baby. I just want to... I just want to cocoon him and just cuddle him forever. Where the hell did my cat go? <laughs> He's around, he's always around. But yeah, Final Frontier, I couldn't even finish it. Like, I watched like the opening scene, and as I said on Discord, even before the first line of dialogue, did not feel like Star, Star Trek, like at all. And then the more I watched it was just, the script was just so lazy. And then I realized I didn't care, <laughs> so I stopped. And I watched a film called um, Educating Rita instead, which I had never heard of. But it was 1983 film with Michael Caine and Julie Walters. He was uh, a college like professor, and she was a scouse housewife who wanted to be educated, who wanted to get an education. 
I've never seen that film before, never even heard of it, but it was good. I never really picked up on Good Omens. I, I, I've heard season two is out and people are, I don't know. I don't know if it was a meme that people were mad about it or not, but I don't know. Most people seem to enjoy it, but no, I've, I've never watched it. I think it's on Amazon Prime and I just, it's funny, I think I actually do have Amazon Prime right now. It was like 30 day trial and I was just like, all right, I don't want to play PMP, so I'll get a 30 day trial. Oh boy, I remember watching that in school because he was studying the playwright's work. At least you really enjoyed it. Good. Are you talking about the film I was talking about? What is, I think we're speaking across purposes now a little bit. <laughs> There's a lot going on. But look at the little baby. He's just going to stay up there. He's, he's too cute to... He's way too cute. Educating research. Yeah, I'd never heard of it before. Never heard of it. And then it was just there. And I was like, alright. I didn't realise it was actually based on like a play or anything. I just watched it. Sort of. Whilst... I feel like I was doing something else at the same time, but I can't remember what. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to think of what TV shows I've been watching. Other than Midsummer Murders. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I want to watch Voyage Home again, because that probably has always been my favourite Star Trek film. Um, you know what I will say about Final Frontier is that I'm glad that it didn't kill Star Trek because it almost did and after that we got the Undiscovered Country and that it was bloody brilliant I didn't expect you to, to be fair yeah I, I don't really know anything about like anything honestly <laughs> like um, I don't know how I managed it but in school we covered Macbeth and I never handed my essay in and nobody ever asked me to they just left it. They just didn't bother. The only Star Trek I maybe I didn't like was the whale one. Kiki, that is a voyage home. That's my favourite. What is wrong with you? No judgement. Everybody's got their own favourites. <laughs> but that is my favourite. I love that one. It is, I love that one. A lot of the movies tried to kill the franchise. <clears throat> Star Trek Nemesis, anybody? Oh, poor Tom Hardy. <laughs> To be honest, though, it didn't really do him. Uh, it didn't really kill his career. I mean, he's Tom Hardy, but of all the places to start. <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> oh no! Okay, that's another film I actually need to rewatch because it has been about twenty years <laughs> since I last watched Nemesis. Oh, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I thought it was silly and a bit creepy, and I just didn't like the fact that the guy who wrote it had never seen a single episode of The Next Generation. So, didn't actually understand any of the characters he was writing. Picard season 3 is basically the next TNG movie, and they basically said, oh, those other films, they didn't really happen. Yeah, like the previous two seasons. I'll watch Picard season 3, but I can't be asked with the rest of it. Um, there was something else. There was something else. Kiki, it is not called the whale one, how dare you? <laughs> the whale one. I can see why people would call it that, though. I mean, but Voyage Home, no, my favorite. Love it to death. <clears throat> it's very silly, but it wasn't meant to be. Well, I don't know. It definitely had the uh, st stop hunting whales, you goobers. Uh, very much the same view here. How odd that season three they got another producer that had actually seen the show. Yeah, I guess it depends. I don't know. I mean. I'd say I grew up on Star Trek, but I didn't really. I grew up with an older brother who loved Star Trek to death, to the point that he can still basically remember every single name of every single episode of every single series by heart, because he's a nerd. And I'm just like, I don't know, there's a few I remember, I don't really like it. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the series, so maybe that's why I like the movies. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, there's no right way to do it. You, you like what you like, and... That's fine. I still haven't seen all of Voyager, although I did start. I got into like season four. And honestly, it's not bad. I just go through phases. Like I'll watch like an entire season in a week and then I won't watch any for three months. I'm a nerd with a horrible memory to no one believes I've seen all of these. Uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes even you're not sure, or even I'm not sure, or even someone's not sure that they haven't seen something until they have seen it. Well, you're a nerd! 
To be honest, that couldn't have been more perfectly timed because I completely lost track of what the fuck I was saying. Sometimes you think you've seen something and you haven't and vice versa, the end. Uh, thank you. But yeah, I like Star Trek, but... Do you notice, I'm not a huge nerd about anything. Hey, we did it! Candle, thank you so much! We did it! Woo! Yay, art! Not today. <laughs> my, my body can't take the posture. But thank you, Candle, so much for helping us with that. For pushing us to the limits. The good limits. Woo! So... Now I have to stick an art stream on the books. Um, honestly. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not putting out schedules anymore, so theoretically I can do an art stream whenever I like. And by whenever I like, I mean on Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Sundays at 6pm. One of those days, not sure which yet. But that'll be good. Thank you so much. You did do it. Cheers to Candle. And thank you, Stream Elements, for shouting out Kiki again. <laughs> One day we will play something co-op again someday. Yeah, chat the real MVP. I mean, what the hell do I do? I just sit here and talk shit. That's my job. <laughs> That's funny because that actually is my job. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> what the hell else was I saying? <laughs> I'm sure there was something else on my list, and i got to check that real quick. Let's... Oh, I went to the opera. Oh, nobody knows Candle. We just sort of show up and do something, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I went to the opera on Tuesday, which is why I couldn't stream then. And it was Madame, Madame Butterfly. I know, I've not actually seen Madame Butterfly before. My Yeah, it was Madame Butterfly. Um, I think it was the Glasgow Scottish Royal Ballet or whatever to find doing. Nobody knows. Um... Yeah, I've seen... I've never been to a live opera before. My dad has a bunch of DVDs because he is a huge opera nut. I've mostly seen comedies. Like, Barbara of Seville, Marriage of Figaro, Magic Flute. I don't know if John Deere of Giovanni <laughs> is a comedy, but I've seen that one. It was a good ten years ago now. I think it might have been ten years ago that I last saw any of them. But Madame Butterfly was my first tragedy. I knew the story going into it, although not all the details, and I won't spoil them here. Did you have the fancy glasses spectacles? No, because we were in my tiny, uh, tiny town art centre auditorium. They didn't even have a full orchestra. It was just a, a grand piano and a violinist. But it still worked really, really well. Hey, Alil! Welcome in. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. But yeah, it was really good. I dressed up. I it was really good. My parents came over first, like a couple of hours first we were like eating food okay did you make circles with your hand fingers and pretend at one point yes because there were like bits no I, i've never seen the opera on stage or on tv or on dvd or whatever um but i actually have the the opera music on vinyl i don't think i've ever listened to it but i have it and but i have like heard the odd piece from it like the odd song and there were some that I was just like oh yes I know this one <laughs> also I was the only person who gave them a standing ovation in the end which was really sad because fuck me did they deserve it I cried I cried I didn't I was I didn't wonder if I would and I did it was just and it was so silly because my, I heard my dad crying so he was sitting on the other side of my mum and I just leant over and like squeezed his hand and I thought oh I'll get I'll give my mum some love to you so I rested my head on her shoulder and my hair got stuck on the damn velcro of her coat <laughs> so that was really silly uh, in the middle of the sad part it didn't like ruin the moment it was just well that's a bit awkward but yeah it was really really good that yeah, was my first opera. It's very, very good. It is a sad story. Gee, I'll tell you, I did not know that she actually had a kid. I didn't realize that she had a kid. That made it so much sadder. And I also didn't realize that the uh, the new wife wasn't a total bitch. She was actually very very uncomfortable and upset about the whole thing and it was just like oh wow okay 
Yeah, it was really, really good, though. And if they ever do, like, show another opera here, I am definitely going. But yeah, before that, I decided to... Oh my gosh! Oh, well, thank you so much for the two gifted subs to Tubby Mora and Thea. Thank you so much. <sighs> That's fantastic. You guys are great. You guys are the greatest. Um, but yeah, before I, before my parents took me to the opera, <laughs> Tobes, thanks you. I, I misread that as Tobes be with you. <laughs> like that's how I just stand as blessing. Now Tobes be with you. But yeah, I, I showed my parents uh, Nimona, which if you guys haven't seen yet, it's on Netflix, so do it. Also, if you don't have a problem with animated movies, that's also a good thing. And also, if you do have a problem with animated movies, what's wrong with you? Go watch it. Uh, may the Terps be with you on this blessed day. Kalu Kale. Exactly. I have no idea where the boy is. I do not have a clue. He's probably under my bed hiding from the heat. But yeah, I also showed my parents Nimona, because we had time before the opera. And uh, my dad cried at that too. <laughs> we oh, we gotta put that on a shirt. That's gotta go on a shirt. <laughs> May the toes be with you. <laughs> oh, oh, that's something else to do with art stream because I can just like grab a picture of him, and I probably will like draw it or go over it in a digital setting and give him a lightsaber. May the toes be with you, and you guys. <laughs> We'll get to choose what color lightsaber he gets. Not now, though. Only when we... Did somebody else... Oh, wait. I have a notepad for the art stream. <laughs> because Walter told me to make one. <laughs> because he's right. I would have forgotten. Um... May the turbs be with you. Jeez, our shop's gonna be so good. Have a picture of him with his beans in the air, instant pie. Ah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we do have one of those. I gotta check him. I gotta actually start organizing the folder I have of his pictures. Excuse me, this is getting a little. Well, to be honest, it's not as ridiculous as you'd expect. Me and the boys at 2 a.m. looking for beans! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Red has Terry Speed with you. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just gonna click it. Yeah, these are the pictures I have. There should be more. I feel like there are more, but I don't remember where they are. They're probably on my phone, honestly. I'm trying to think. Beans. Ooh. Look at those. Look at those fists. Gary, the. Ugh, okay. 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 <laughs> gonna hurt after a while. This is Gary the Gecko. He is a lizard. He lives on my throat. Sometimes. He's a bit pinchy. Oh, what the? You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. You knocked over my bin. I blame you guys for this. You knocked over my bin. Oh, that's cute. This isn't fancy though. This is just kind of slutty. Also, the ear is still broken. I've not seen this. No, it's, uh, I have a couple, re actually I have three redeems. Please don't do the other one. Uh, one is for Gary. The other is for this. And, oh, fuck's sake. I, you, some of them. Oh, hey, Tobes. Nice of you to show up. You guys are killing me. Not you, you're adorable. I'm not having fun with us. I'm having fun with you today. Yeah, I willingly put these in um, because I hate myself, apparently. And um, these are not prescription, by the way. <laughs> um, I will have to take Gary off first because mm -mm, he's, he's a bit pinchy. He, he's a bit throat constricty. I can't remember what I said, doesn't matter. Throat constricty, it hurts. But look, that's the wrong button. Beans, fists. He's down there, he looks real cute. The gecko constrictor, exactly. 
And we did a poll as to what to name the gecko, and it was Gary or Jerry, and you guys 50 50 it, so his name is Gary with two R's. Fistful of beans. Look, it's just so beautiful. How can someone have such beautiful fists? This was the box that my friend brought all my birthday presents in. <laughs> I just, he, I just, he loves it. He doesn't really fit and he doesn't care. Oh my goodness, why are you so handsome? He's looking at me like I'm crazy because I look crazy. Look at the boy. Oops. Look at your boy. He's so cute. How can someone have such beautiful <laughs> That's a good one, thank you. <laughs> a fistful of beans, yeah. He's so beautiful. Okay, we're actually looking for uh, paws up. He's gotta have his. This is actually ow. Okay. Um, maybe this one. This one. She's got his. He's got his dukes up. <laughs> oh, ow. Gary, why must you hurt me this way? Blem and beans. He's always doing the blam. He doesn't know how not to anymore. Basically, as soon as he realized I found it adorable, he never stops. <coughs> Look at your boy. Why is she so handsome? Look at the blam. Oops. No, I'm trying to zoom in. <laughs> 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 I don't know why this is so funny to me. <laughs> Look at all the fuzz. Look at his little mustache. <laughs> <He's> gonna... <laughs> Up this close, it could be a dog. It looks like it could be a dog. Why do you have such a fuzzy upper lip? He's still looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> oh, my throat. Fuck Gary, why, why do I have to have such a fat throat? <laughs> He's so handsome. <laughs> but yeah, this one. Oh dear. <laughs> I might actually put a warning on the Gary the Gecko thing that I can only wear him for about five minutes because this is actually starting to hurt. Oh. It doesn't look that small. Actually, it kind of does look that small. Who, who has a neck this thin, honestly? Not me. Mean. Why can't I have a neck that thin? I'll put him down there. What? Oh, by the way. Because I forgot to talk about it earlier. Book, but also, um, I completely didn't talk anymore about the two things I said that occurred to me when I was supposed to be streaming with my sister. I completely left that train of con uh, conversation behind about a thousand miles ago. Um, one is that, um, um, well, one is that I just had no idea what we would do. And, seriously, <laughs> that's a good clip. Thank you, Fixley. <laughs> that is a good clip. Let's watch that. Um, Discord if someone hasn't already. 
move into the <laughs> up this close it could be a dog. It looks like it could be a dog. Why do you have such a fuzzy upper lip? <laughs> He's still looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is good. This is good. Oh shit. Yarzy! Hello! And thank you so much for gifting Jazz Pants a sub. I've got a lurk but happy anniversary. Thank you so much and thanks for dropping in. It's great to have you. Look at the cat. Isn't he a baby? But yeah, thank you so much. So good to see you. Um, oh yeah, the thing. <laughs> um, I don't really want to um, stream with my sister because it's still a possibility that no one will show up and I feel like that wouldn't be very fair <laughs> on my sister. <laughs> Um, the other thing is I have a book which isn't actually related to what I was talking about except, remember I said giveaway maybe, um, with it you may also get a free one of these bookmarks that my sister made. She drew this little whale boy. He's upside down. This is how he swims. He's doing backstroke. It's fine. But yeah. So if we ever actually do get this thing published. Which I imagine we will. We're getting pretty pretty close. The whale movie. Exactly. <laughs> Everything comes full circle in the end. Yeah. Book. So I'll just give you the sales pitch real quick. Because I actually hate doing this. But it's, 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 it's a thing. Um, I wrote this. It has words in it. Also, the ball clip will also be available. <laughs> it has words in it. You can't really see. There they are. It was a bit washed out, blown out, whatever by by light. But if you get, uh, uh, oh, fuck's sake, I should really just type this up and let stream elements. Oh wait a minute, I did do that. <laughs> I did do that. So, yeah. <laughs> so I am trying to self-publish, but it is slow going and it is expensive. So if you guys want to help me out with that, that would be great. And when you guys do, um, I'll be giving this copy away in a giveaway with the bookmark and the ball clip <laughs> that holds it shut because I've just opened it so many times. So yeah, that is a thing that I would just, I, I just don't like doing the whole uh, self-promotion th thing. It's just kind of weird and awkward. A book, yes, a bookmark underscore Gus. I'm also giving away some smutty mango in the giveaway, if, if you're all interested in that, because I have it, and I don't read it, and there's nowhere really here that I can put it, because I'm in a community full of conservative grandmas. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Stream Elements. I already did that, but sure. Define smutty. Uh, has tits. I can't show you guys. I'd get banned. <laughs> Um, it's, um, five volumes of Monster Musume, if you want to look it up, and 13 volumes of Omamori Himari that I am never going to read that I got from somewhere, my older brother, and I am never going to read it, and I can't give it away, because it would just get trashed, it would just get, doesn't that imply that anyone, no, I mean bare breasts, I mean tits, open tits, exactly. And now you can have more access to tits if you want to help me publish my book because then we'll be doing a giveaway in which I will give away books with tits in them. Open, bare, free to the world tits. Books just go way cooler. In fairness, in word form, my book also has tits. And yes, you can in fact wear photos of my cat on, also on your tits, if you would like. They are straight up photographs I took of Tobes and then stuck on t-shirts. I have, oh shit, my book is not a fucking coaster. <laughs> I have one, hold on. Hey Tobes, stop looking at me like I'm crazy. Blah. Blah. How do I put this thing on? This doesn't... Whatever, it doesn't. My music's... Why is this here? Why is this here? Why is this here? Why did this happen? See, I said would make a job called boobs and books and no one believed me. I caught him. 
him mid yawn. It did get stuck on my glasses, yes. <laughs> but yeah, the actual um, version that you buy, the picture's a bit smaller to retain more detail, but... <laughs> oh, he's screaming. It does look like that, but he is yawning. There's also um, a black t-shirt with a, with, a, with a photo with darker tones with him in the window as well. He's just, he's just the cutest little man. Hey, Toby boy, do you want to come over? He's, he's a-coming. He's a-coming. He's cute. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Toby. Look at the way he is sitting. Yes, come very back distinguished. Come mm -hmm, I see, I see. Come here. Don't mind the microphone. Come here, babe. <laughs> foods and books. Oh, maybe that should be the name of our podcast. He's my spotty boy and stripey boy. They make him go faster. He's my sweet man. Oh, he's not happy though. I'm sorry. Sorry, sweetheart. I can't take the credit, so I gave an old wartime titty book in the me. I don't think it was wartime. I think it was just German. That's not quite the same thing. He's just sleeping here now. See? <laughs> he does this. He just sprawls here now. Yeah, enjoy the German titty book. Toby, don't leave. No, you're not allowed him. We've been over this. <laughs> He's going after my little mirror cat again. <laughs> Toby, can you not stand right there? <laughs> <laughs> Tobes, you can't drink that, you're not old enough. There we go. <laughs> what time did he? Did he? How much did he fuck this up? Probably not at all. It's probably me who did all the up of the fucking. That is not a good way to say that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hawk, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Avia. You, you guys are amazing you guys are second to absolutely none i love you all thank you so much for being here and for being so kind and just so generous i have a small meerkat this is unrelated he lives over there until toby tries to kill him again but yeah thank you so much it's good to see you i hope you're doing well i hope everybody is doing well and i hope that if you aren't you will be soon uh gonna be quite busy today but i have you up on lurk thank you so much hawk I burnt my tongue earlier, so it feels really weird drinking this. <laughs> I burnt my tongue on a gluten-free fish finger. This is stupid. I should make Gary the Gecko cheaper because he, he, he doesn't stay on as long. In fact, I might do that right now. Oh my goodness, I still got the bleb boy up. I still got the bleb boy. That's not the right thing. Bleb boy. Bleb boy and his child. Gluten free fish drink and wartime titties in less than three minutes. Now I'm off. Okay, well, thank you so much, Hawk, for the gift of sub and for just being here. You're a good egg. Oh, can we get a shout out for Hawk Shock, please? Because he is also a cool streamer. And for basically, oh shit, any other streamer that's been in, including Yarazi. And hello. So all you beautiful folks. Yeah. Those are just them shout out with my jigs. All in the aid of this little baby man. Look at his little face. Look at his little bleb. You fish fingers as well. Can they be delivered in the cleavage of <laughs> what I'm telling <laughs> Well, I can't help you with that, but probably. Well, to be honest, at wartime titties. I guess it depends what war you mean. Second World War? No, I'm pretty sure gluten-free fish fingers didn't exist back then. Regular fish fingers might have, but then also rationing? That's also what I was thinking. You guys! You guys! We need a way to transport. Well, I'll leave that to you guys. You can just be the books and boobs on wheels. Just traveling around the world. 
delivering those much needed fish fingers and titty cleavage. The shit you guys make me come out of, with, of, with. Oh no, 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 no. Thank you, Water, for putting that clip in there. Oh, there's other clips in here that I have not given hearts to. Which one is this? What is this? Oh, that's when I was too quiet to hear. Too quiet to be heard. It was, uh, I don't know, BPM is loud. But yeah, Yaru is, is really cool because he plays Japanese games that were never translated into English and uh, has a thing that sort of translates them into English as he's playing them. It's very niche, I'd say. And very entertaining. He's a cool dude. I am very tired, which is not a great thing to be. I don't know, we've been going over an hour and it's been a long day. And Toby, what are you doing? What are you doing? Toby. Toby. What are you doing? Hey, cute boy. He's just being cute. That's what he's doing. Sure, it's, there. it's okay. Go back to Blam. We'll sort out the franchise. Fuck. Don't turn around. Don't look at me. I have so many names. If you look at me, you will die. Literally, just as it said, if you look at me, you'll die. He walked past and I saw him. That means I'm gonna die now. Hope you're happy. Toby, stop sniffing things. Stop it. <laughs> he was sniffing, like, my speaker wire back there, and now he's sniffing the edge of my neck curtains. I was looking at tiny them for all of that. It was... <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Tiny blam. This is... I can just zoom in on the text, not the picture. <laughs> okay, um... There we go. <laughs> Why can't I zoom in? Hi, Toads. I'm not looking at other cats, I swear. He always knows. Like, he'll come in from the other room. If, uh, if he... If he... I don't know how he knows. <laughs> I don't know how he knows. Um, okay, because there was a boop the toads emote that I needed to make as well. This is going to be a very crazy art stream, which is probably going to be broken into several art streams. Hey, you can see the list. That's the list. My nose really itches. Probably. I don't know why. It itches. Look at this baby. Look at his parent. <laughs> Who probably isn't actually his parent. This is just a random picture of the same breed of cat that I found on Google. Ooh, I wish I could zoom in on it. Why can't I zoom in on it? Ah! What? <laughs> just, just, he just, he's going, help me! <laughs> Aggressive one. Oh my gosh, it's so small. Yeah, the, the zooming in isn't... This is as far in as, a, as I can go. Oh, look at you. Look at you, little Blim. <laughs> so cute. Oh, a tiny Blim cannot be resized. <laughs> oh my nose, why is this happening? Alright. 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 Well, first off, I'm taking these things off because I can't see. It's also getting dark in here. It's hard to tell because I am completely washed out. But I think that actually means that it's getting dark for some reason. The bunny ears can stay on for now. I gotta turn my back lights on, which is annoying. Oh, but it won't take long. Back shortly, enjoy blem. Oh, this is even more annoying than I remembered. Hello. Oh, at least Toby wasn't looking at me. Oh, that's crazy this time. For some reason, he's reserved that for the door. What did I do to you this time? You a cute boy. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, he is. Bless Blem the Turk. This <laughs> To be honest, I'm surprised we haven't done this sooner. <laughs> I 
There, I can see now. <laughs> Wait, do I turn this off? No, I'll leave it on. I don't know what I did with my arm hurts. Oh wait, yoga. How did I manage to overcomplicate just sitting down? <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, so. My arms hurt. This is not news. Oh, you sweet baby. I don't know why I actually clicked off in here because I'm still reading this. I'm with the baby. Do I have other pictures? No. Just loads of related, unrelated articles. It kind of annoys me that this is what counts as journalism these days. Not the, not the topic, just the smattering of a few sentences and then that's the end of it. I keep thinking I can drag it, I can't. Cool. Look at the baby. Okay. Okay, so that was extremely important news. Um so I've said that about five times, I apologise. I still didn't get to the second point of... Oh wait, did I? No way, yes I did. I still got the fisticuffs toad picture up. And the baller of his face. Because he's cute. He is the cute one. No, actually that's it. That's the end of my list. That's the end of my notes. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. I am in so much pain. It's fine. Um, so, what I figured we could do is something she says helpfully um okay so we could finish i commissioned some bees which we did not start on that one stream that didn't happen on that day that didn't happen we have five levels left or i have absolutely no idea let me look at my steam library I'm usually better than this, and by that I mean... No, no, I think this is about how organised I usually am, let's be real. Um, I did install Sims 4, but I'm not sure I can be bothered playing any of that today. Oh, I know, we could do some more if you like. Um, FTL by committee, that was fun. And we unlocked a new ship, so that should be good. Let the wheel decide. Oh yeah, the wheel. The wheel. I should actually um bookmark the site. Bees Sims 4 or FTL by Omity and uh, my everything hurts but that's fine. I should, probably should take a break before we actually do a thing. Whoa! That was pretty close. Claps all around. Finally, someone uses my ooh emote. Thank you, Mark. We're gonna play. That's actually what I wanted, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And um, I'm gonna bookmark this site. Uh, there we go. Not in shopping. I was expecting the fish. Um, nah, we're, we're ghosts and skellies around here, so. The fish is good, but we're ghosts and skellies. Um, I'm gonna forget what it is I am doing with my life. Take a drink. Oh yeah, I've watered, found that emote. <laughs> it's a skeleton dancing wearing a sombrero. <laughs> he thought I would like it. And sometimes Mexican skeleton. Sometimes Mexican anything, basically. I mean, 
Look at that guy above my door. Also the guy in the posters above my head. I mean, come on. Um, well, technically speaking, he's from Canary. Um...